Hi, so today I wanted to show you what's in my pencil case that I carry to work um, because our office supply closet, it has, you know, the normal things that you would expect to see in an office supply closet, but um, the pens in there aren't, it's mostly RSVPs, and so uh, I wanted to bring my own from home. Also, I have a job where I'm not necessarily always at my desk and I'm out and about, so this was a nice way to carry the things that I would like to have with me. So I use this. I got this from Jet Pens. I think it's the Lehit or Lehit Lab. Ta I don't even know. I would have to look it up. Maybe I'll be able to link it below. But um, it was on Jet Pens, and it's it has a pocket in the front and um, another pocket here on the side that you can put quick things in, and then it zips all the way around. And so let's see what I have in here. Um, so the first thing, and I, before I had kept this packed pretty full, um, you know, I don't know how many pens you really need to carry around in the day. I tend to go for some of the ones that are my favorites, or I find that I'm enjoying using one pen, so I'll tend to use that for everything. Since I've cleaned out my fountain pens, I know I'm going to add those to my everyday carry now that I can actually use them because they're not exploded. And if you're wondering about that, you can see my other video on me cleaning it. But um, I just thought I would go through some of the pens that I carry and um, what I like about them and different features about them. So, actually, the first thing in here is not a pen, it's a pencil. It's a Kurotoga 0.5. And um, I like this mechanical pencil because, as we all know, the Kurotoga, it has the consistently sharp point. So, if I'm doing fine writing, and I tend to like really fine tipped pens anyway and pencils, so when I'm doing fine writing, um, the lead is never dull. It doesn't get that flat surface. And uh, it's pretty nice. This is definitely like the cheapest version you can get. I believe it was like six or seven dollars and it came with some erasers and some lead as well. I have to say that I think that the grip area is lacking, although it has this little rubberized grip here. There's nothing really special about this area. It's a little bumpy, but that's about it. Um, and the eraser is pretty sad. It's a little teeny tiny eraser, so you can see I haven't even used it. It's not really usable anyway. Uh, you advance the lead by clicking at the top, and the bottom has this little metal piece that does not go back up into the pencil, so it stays out and it's sharp. So you'd have to put it in a pencil case, otherwise it's going to poke a hole or stab somebody. Um, but I do like this for when I want to write with a pencil, but I want it to be super fine tip. But sometimes when you write with a pencil, you don't always want it to be super fine tip. I do have a wooden pencil at my desk, but I've found in the environment that I work in, um, pencil sharpener is just loud and it's kind of distracting. So I started to bring a, pen a Pentel Twist Erase Click .7. And I like this pencil. Um, I think it's a lot fancier than the Kurotoga. It has a very nice grip section. You advance the lead on the side here, which I like. And this also has a metal tip that doesn't it doesn't go back up into the pencil, so again, you have that sharp end. But the best part about this mechanical pencil is the eraser. So if you turn it, the eraser comes out, and you can see it's a good size eraser. It's like a normal pencil sized eraser, but look at how much eraser they give you in a mechanical pencil. This is actually a super functional mechanical pencil. The only drawback is that you get that flat side, and it's 0.7, so it's kind of large, but I found that for doing... Um, for doing general writing that I want to do in pencil, this is working really well for me. So, as I'm looking at this, I realize I need to update it because I see I had this in my pencil case for a long time, um, and then I took it out when we moved, and um, I'm going to put this back in my pencil case. It should be in there. This is a little pair of scissors that I got on Jet Pens, and so it's shaped like a pen, right? And then you open it up, and it's a pair of scissors. And so this is very handy because I am not always at my desk, but it would be nice to have a pair of scissors, and it's nice and compact, and it fits really well in this pencil case. So I'll just add that in right now. If I can add this in, we'll, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> so the next thing I have in here is a Pentel O-Gel. I wonder if the camera will 
focus on that Pentel O gel and I have to say that this is one of the ugliest pens that I've ever seen maybe the Pilot Varsities are as ugly as this the clip is so I mean just look at this ugly clip it's a 07 it's retractable which I love and it actually has uh, and I like the grip area it's got a nice grip area and you can hold it low there's no real bumps there I like this pen um, because I like the ink flow but as far as looks it's pretty ugly I have this in here and I was using this because I liked the ink and the way that it wrote until I found another one that I'll show you so I'll actually probably take this out of my pencil case because now that I have this other one I may not be using it this was blue ink um, so maybe it would be worth keeping so that I have a blue ink pen in there I'll rethink that um, the next thing that I have is a uni jet stream I just got this at the drugstore and I have to say I really don't like this pen that much it's a one 1.0 tip it's just um, the the hybrid ink or ballpoint ink I don't know if that's what they're calling it I like the design of the pen I think the pen looks good I like the grip area it's just a very large tip for a pen but I've found that sometimes I just need a ballpoint pen and so I'm going to use this I did have um, in another video where I showed the presents that I bought for my sister-in-law and my brother um, I bought my brother some jet streams that were like 0.28 and 0.38 I loved them he ended up getting all of them um, except I kept the the high-tech C mica because I knew it was after seeing it he just wouldn't really like it the jewel in the top and the the actual tip of the pen I knew he wouldn't like so I've been keeping this and I love this pen um, for doing my my checkbook balancing and then the other pen I kept is right here but after these are done and I will use these up um, then I will definitely purchase the jet stream in the finer tip those were excellent they were such smooth writers and I really liked them but this is also good to have in case somebody needs to borrow a pen I don't always get my pens back I've experienced that now several times and so um, if somebody needs to borrow a, a ballpoint I'll let them or borrow a pen I'll let them borrow this because it's very easy to replace and I didn't really care much for the the large tip anyway but it's a decent pen to have if you need a ballpoint because sometimes you need that so I have I actually have two of those in there because um, I, I really don't care to write with them at home but if I need them at work I need them at work the next thing that I carry is my high tech C Kalido and it's the five color multi pen and I I don't have any particular reason why I have these colors in here at this point these were just the ones that I had but I love this pen for super super fine writing this is um, these are point four and so I have just a variety of color and it it's really tiny and so I like this for when I have to do fine work like I said I prefer fine tip pens and so I tend to go for those kind anyway so this gives me some variety and color and I have some refills if I needed to fill that up again I can so there's the scissors I showed you earlier so then at my um, when I was out and about I found this pen and I thought I'd give it a try um, the Uniball Sino or Signo I bought some of these for my brother as well and they were fantastic they were super fine tipped and I really enjoyed them I will definitely be purchasing some for myself when this one is out but this one was right there in front of me and it was on clearance and I thought I'd give it a try and it was in purple so my favorite color and it was retractable so the clip is kind of interesting looking you can see that it's a little designer there uh, I like the grip area it's got it's, it's okay I don't like this this groove right here that they have going on but there's some attempt at it being a little bit grippy and it's in a 207 as I guess the official size um, it's fairly fine tipped let me see I've got some paper so just to scratch something off it's fairly fine tipped it's dark purple it's a good gel pen if I lost it I wouldn't be upset I don't think I paid more than a dollar for it like I said it was on clearance but um, just something nice to have people ask me to borrow pens I think it's because they see that I'm carrying interesting ones and I just don't want to lose the good ones this is no you know what this wasn't one that I ordered for my brother I, I got I received this pen and um, 
or did I order it? No, I received it. And I just really love this pen. It's a Zebra NR505 needle tip. Sorry about that. And um, it's fantastic. It, the grip area is lacking. It's just hard plastic. But I love how it writes. And I love that it's you know fine tipped. You can see it's a lot finer than the other one. And um, so I like this one. So when I need a blue pen and I want it to be fine, I'll use that. Actually, I'll show you the O-Gel because now that I have it out, this one is a, a, a monster tip. You can see that it's much larger. But the ink flows pretty well. And um, I'll show you the Uni Jet Stream while I'm doing this. And you can see how large this is as well. Well, I don't even know if I really wrote a word there for that, but you can see it's large and it, this is like a standard ballpoint pen except, you know, a little bit nicer with the ink flow. It's okay. I wouldn't repurchase this pen. I would, though, in the smaller size. So there's my other Uni Jetstream. Then I have um, just a highlighter in case I need to have a highlighter with me. And this one is the Staedtler Tech Surfer Classic. I got this in a pack of a bunch of different colors and I really like these. They don't smear, they're inkjet safe so the ink won't smear and it's flat so that it's, and it's got a clip so it can sit nicely in this pocket. So I do love Energels, Pentel Energels. I have two of them. Um, one of them, this one I received from somebody. These are both the same size, they're retractable which I like. They're 07. So this I received from somebody in the bright pink, and I really loved it. The ink is super smooth. It's just a huge, master, uh, huge, big, huge line that it, or a big tip. Sorry, that doesn't even look like a word. I found this on clearance in purple, so I bought it because I really liked the ink. I knew I liked the Energel ink. So then in the clearance section, I saw this, and it's an Energel. And it's a 07, but then I looked on the side and it says needle tip. And then it's got some Japanese writing. And so then I thought, okay, this is probably going to be better than the ones that uh, I have because it says needle tip on it. They're both 07, but they're not both 07. So this one I think is just a more interesting looking pen. And um, it has a nice grip area. The grip is actually different. This one is a little more grippy than this one. And um, the tip looks different. You can see it's the needle tip versus the Energel that I had. And, you know, now that I'm looking at them side by side, it, it's, it's a little bit smaller. But it's that, um, that really excellent Energel ink. So this one is the one I've been using a lot at work. And I'm really enjoying using that one. And this was also, I think it was like a $1.20 or something like that. So if I lost it, I wouldn't be heartbroken. Um, and now that I've cleaned these fountain pens, I believe I'm going to add my Lamy Safari and maybe my Metropolitan to the mix because now they're clean. So this is a really great pencil case because now you can see that you can fit a lot in here. I've had way more than this in here. Then you flip it. So it's got the band across the top and the bottom so that if it leaks, it's not going to get everywhere. Then you can flip it like a book. And the other side has some little compartments. So what I have down here are some paper clips and lead for my pencil. I have my name badge for work. And I have an eraser up here because I do like to use the Kurutoga. Kurutoga. Um, and the eraser and the Pentel is okay, but this is the eraser that I like to use um, I think it works great. It doesn't leave like smears on the page or anything like that. So I keep those in there. And I've got a ruler because I'm surprised at how much I actually use a ruler at work. And since I'm carrying it with me, it's only six inches and it fits perfectly in the pencil case. And then I have um, this Martha Stewart tabs and then some post-its in here. I did have individual post-its, but this is just neater and... Um, it slid right in there, no problem. So this is the pencil case that I carry to work, and sometimes the pens change. I find that I tend to like to use the same pen over and over. If I'm in a groove, I like, you know, one, it's working for me, and so I'll use it. Um, 
but I just thought that I would share that with you. So I hope you have a nice day, and I will speak with you soon. Bye-bye.